and she talked about this palette and I was like, I want it and I need it. Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a little bit of an Ulta haul because uh, my I had asked basically for one palette for Christmas and then my aunt was like, oh I have a discount. So just like fill up a cart worth $100 worth of makeup and I was like, Um, if you hear things in the background, that is Zach playing the game, but you know, gotta hustle, gotta film, still gotta do it, so you know, here we are, it's alright. He's doing his thing, so. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into everything. I'm so excited about all of this stuff and I can't wait to show you. But basically that palette that I asked for was this one, and it's called the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. And this is the box, it's so... It's like hollow. <laughs> it's beautiful. And then this is the packaging. I just think it's stunning. I do have the electric palette which has similar packaging but I think this one is a little bit better because you get that magnetic closing and opening. It's like oh yeah that's nice. That's a signifier of high-end makeup and you can just see the colors are so stunning. They're just beautiful. Um god. A lot of them are duochrome, so they have more than one color regarding flecks of glitter. I'm really excited about this one element. It's almost coppery. These are glitters, so like you have it, you want to use like a glitter glue with them, and I have the Urban Decay glitter glue already, because that's what I, I got that when I got the uh, electric palette, so it like worked out really well, and that's why I asked for it. And also like most of this stuff is stuff that I got recommended to me because of um, YouTubers, so... <laughs> Vintage or Tacky, Cora from Vintage or Tacky made a video talking about makeup that is not limited edition that's still really good and she talked about this palette and I was like, I want it and I need it. And so I'm just super excited to try this out. Maybe I'll do a tutorial with it coming soon. Oh, by the way, if you guys want a tutorial on this look, links will probably be down below. If it's not up, then it'll be coming soon, so... I'm doing a dramatic and wearable Christmas makeup this year. And then a lot of, like, that palette was around 50 bucks. A lot of what the other things that I got were drugstore because I'm, I'm just a, I'm a cheap bitch, basically. <laughs> I just can't justify, like, like, when I have the opportunity to get a lot more things for less money, I was just like, that's, that's the dream. Um, I'm going to talk about a few lashes that I got. These are both from Ardell. I got these... Ardell Curvy Lashes. Oh, very cute. I love the winged out outer corner. I think they're just stunning. And I can't wait to try them. A lot of this stuff, I'm just like, I'm so excited to wear these for the holidays. And then these ones are the Wispies in the 600 Black. And I have never owned a pair of lashes like this, but I really want to see what they look like on my eye. I think they're definitely like an Instagram lash, if you know what I mean. I decided to get this because I think someone that I was watching recommended this to me. It's the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. And it's pretty, it doesn't look shimmery in the, in the pan. When you swatch it onto your hand, it really, it, it is very pretty. And I'm just like, I where has this highlight been on my life? I don't know if y'all can see it. It's hard to swatch hi highlights. Like, I don't know why, but it's just so like difficult. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this on the face, which I haven't yet, so. And then, ooh, I needed, like, I have really dark circles under my eyes, like, blue. And I decided to try the Dark Circle Corrector from NYX. It's got a peachy tone to it. Like, a lot of people will use red, but my skin is too pale to put red under my eyes and, like, still cover it. So a peachy tone is ideal for covering that. So I'm hoping that it's really nice and pigmented. Oh my god, one thing I was so... This is another thing that I really wanted, and it's the... It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, with the packaging is hollow. I don't know if y'all can see in the camera, but that is cool. It is reflecting rainbows, therefore it is hollow. The Taylor on YouTube, who does like 15 days of foundation and stuff, she recommends this foundation backwards and forwards, and I was like, let me try it. Because I want to try a powder foundation, which is like really good coverage, and I just sort of swatched it, and it feels really good between my fingers, but this is what the regular packaging looks like. I'm just really excited to try it and see how it goes. Especially because it's like an illumination powder and I just feel like I've never experienced that. 
Oh my god, I was so freaking excited to try this. So I've been using the regular Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge forever. Like, literally forever I've been using it. When I saw that they were coming out with this diamond sponge, I was like, oh lord. And I knew I was like, gonna have it in my hand someday. And I didn't expect the packaging to be so beautiful. Like, what is this copper rose gold? This is giving me everything, um, but it's like marbled and it's a diamond sponge and all I want to do is just take it out of the package and play with it right now and I wish I could have used it for a makeup today but I wanted to film the haul first. So yes, super excited about that. Um, and I also just got replenishers of the regular ones that I'm already using and it's just so crazy when you look at the difference because like the one that I have is like all dark and dirty because you can never get it to the same beautiful orange color because it's like permanently stained by foundation so it's nice to have some fresh ones and that was a two pack of them oh and also that um that foundation came with a, like a bonus and it's the um it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream and it let you like choose a shade it's just like a sampler of it it's like super small but I'm not really into CC creams I like a, a little bit more coverage in that but I will try it it looks pretty good it looks like it has a pretty high coverage like we'll see and I really so my my regular brow set is the hard candy one I love that like that's my favorite because when I would wear it I wouldn't even have to fill in my brows because it would just like fill in the gaps and make it look really nice I haven't been able to get my hands on it at a Walmart here so I decided to try this one this is the essence make me brow essence is an intriguing brand I want to try more and this is kind of like a dupe for the um what is it like the benefit brow Wiz or whatever they're like it's like pretty much the exact same packaging and the wand is like super similar you can just see how small the wand is so I'm super excited to try this I'm not gonna do it today because my eyebrows are red but yeah that'll be fun to see how that performs as a brow mascara and yeah I think that's it except for the samples I don't know if y'all care about the samples let's see I don't even know what they are I don't get very excited about perfume samples Oh, uh, what is this? Hey. Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. And the Escada Joyful. I don't wear a whole lot of perfume. It's like a little bit just too strong for me. Like, I like body spray. Or sometimes I just don't even wear any fragrance and I just like let my deodorant do its thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry if there was any background noise. And um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all tomorrow.